You know, I was watching Aaron Rodgers last night, and I don't know if you remember it. I remember watching him at Cal. I remember watching him almost beat USC. And I think it's unfair for people to go, how did anybody pass on Aaron Rodgers? He didn't look like that at Cal. He was he was not that he was forgettable. He was talented. But the first time you saw Aaron Rodgers, go back to your catalog of information. When was the first time you even saw him on a practice field or in a game? Well, that's the thing. I think he sat for four years before he got on the field. And uh, the funny thing is, and I know a lot has been made about their relationship, uh, but he reminds me so much of Brett Favre when he plays. I mean, so much of the stuff that he does that he does on the field. Like you see, one of the best things that he does, he gets people to jump off sides, and he gets this free play, and you know, it's on. They're going fast break. They're going to the end zone. They're going for a play. I mean, they are so offensive, and he's out there having fun. I mean, if he doesn't remind you of Brett Favre, I don't know who does. And, you know, between Aaron Rodgers and Tom Brady right now, no one's playing better football at the quarterback position. And so it's just really fun to watch. And, and you know, I usually don't stay up late and, uh, and, and watch those late night games, but it was impossible not to watch last night. You know, he's just, he's doing it at such a high level and he's done it, um, you know, since he's been, been the starter there. So it's, uh, it's fun to watch. And, and I really think that, Mike McCarthy doesn't get enough enough credit for being a great quarterback coach. He was my position coach for one year when I was with the Packers, and uh, he really, really is a good football coach. And, and uh, to see Aaron have the kind of success that he has is really, really impressive.